While the world watches Ukraine, Kim Jong-un is reminding us all that he's still a major threat, too. North Korea launched a powerful ballistic missile over Japan, one that's capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. The missile traveled nearly 3,000 miles before splashing down in the Pacific. That's the longest distance ever for a North Korean weapon, according to Japanese and South Korean officials. It's far enough to strike the U.S. territory of Guam, where the U.S. military has two bases. The missile launch came without warning. Sirens blared across northern Japan as many people were waking up and commuting to work on Tuesday morning. The government halted train services and urged people to seek shelter. In response to the launch, South Korean and U.S. fighter jets did this, carried out precision bombing drills off the coast of the Korean peninsula. South Korea's military says the show of force was a demonstration of its ability to quickly strike the origin of provocations, as the South put it. For months now, the Biden administration has been warning that North Korea is preparing to carry out a nuclear test for the first time in five years as well. Details now from CNBC senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche. Kayla. Shep, this missile launch was North Korea's 39th this year alone, according to the State Department, which called the move dangerous and reckless. The U.S. calling on the U.N. Security Council to take up the issue publicly tomorrow. President Biden and Japan's prime minister condemning the launch as a clear U.N. violation, saying they resolved to continue every effort to limit the DPRK's ability to support its unlawful ballistic missile and weapons of mass destruction programs. The launch comes just after Vice President Kamala Harris visited the region, denouncing Pyongyang as a brutal dictatorship. And from the demilitarized zone bordering North and South Korea, pledging ironclad support to defend Seoul. The timing according to experts, is no coincidence. North Korea last fired a ballistic missile over Japan five years ago, with tensions between Kim Jong-un and former President Trump flaring. Now, with the world's attention fixated on war in Europe, Kim may be taking some inspiration from Russia's President Putin. It's pretty clear. North Korea is really hell-bent on becoming a nuclear weapon state with uh, a substantial supply of nuclear weapons. I think the North Koreans had been watching the war in Ukraine and learning a lot from what Putin is doing. I think very clearly they realized that they should keep their nuclear weapons because uh, they feel that countries that get attacked in this world don't have nuclear weapons. U.S. officials today repeatedly said they're willing to talk with no preconditions with North Korea, but the goal remains complete denuclearization. Those overtures met with radio silence.